Come on in. Good morning and welcome to Trans West Truck Trailer RV. My name is Katie O'Neill and I am so excited about today's video. I, I'm tuning in live from Frederick, Colorado in sunny Colorado. Uh, it is beautiful today. It's been snowing and cold, but as usual, we have clear paths down the freeway. All the asphalt has uh, evaporated the snow and we are enjoying some nice sunny, sunny weather. Uh, so I am bringing you a coach uh, that I'm really familiar with uh, from a floor plan standpoint, but you've probably never seen before. Today's video is on a 2024 a Valencia, and today's video is on a 36 SB. The 36 SB is a new floor plan for the Valencia line, and it, it's also going to be the, the shortest in our 6.7 liter ISB Valencia chassis. So as usual, I like to start my videos from the inside out. So Jody, please go ahead and take her on back. And the reason I say I am familiar with this floor plan is because my first Renegade Verona was a 2020 Renegade Verona 30 VSB. This is the Valencia SB model. It is the same floor plan and I absolutely love this floor plan. But one of the things I'm really excited about is all of the new features that are standard, um, all of the updates that we have um, from a technological standpoint and really the ability to get a much, much smaller coach in the Valencia. So for those of you that are looking for the dexterity of a shorter wheelbase, the better turning radius of a shorter wheelbase, this is your coach and it has so many fantastic features. Now, first and foremost, one of the things that's great about a Renegade is gonna be that it has a 150 gallon freshwater tank, a 75 gallon gray water tank, and a 75 gallon black water tank. And that's not just in the Verona, that's also here in this Valencia. We also have a 100 gallon fuel tank uh, with a 10 gallon def tank. So a lot of those great features that we have in our larger floor plan RVs are chocked full in this little tiny package, including a king size bed. So a king size bed, as you can see, there's nightstands on either side. Uh, both of the nightstands have two 110 outlets as well as a USB port and a type C port. So regardless of your device, you can charge everything very nicely right here. Another great feature are, this is the Lakewood, um, or I'm sorry, Cape Cod uh, shaker style maple cabinetry. So as you can see, tons of overhead storage space here. Another nice feature, you've got these reading lights that you can turn on and off manually. They also can adjust the direction. So whatever you're reading or wherever you're sitting, you can fix that light to what you're looking at. And then you've got these panels where you can turn all of your lights on and off from just above your bed. But more importantly, um, I just put the awning out while Jody was walking in and I did that from my app. So I can actually control all of my lights here in the main, the exterior, or the bedroom with just my app as well. So this is a really great coach from the ability to um, monitor your tanks. You know, you've got a 20 gallon propane tank, you know, that you, know, you wanna make sure you have enough propane because this is a tankless uh, hot water system. This has got the Truma. And this is the new Truma. This is a really improved unit. Uh, the water gets really hot, but it does run off of propane. So you need to make sure you're on top of your tank levels and you can do all of that with your phone app. You can also open and close your slides and you can also turn on and off all of your uh, heat and air conditioning. Now this does have a furnace and then it also has two 15,000 BTU air conditioners with heat pumps. So you've got two forms of heat here. Uh, and again, you're going to be relegated to those heat pumps, which you could use, you know, your 50 amp or even a 30 amp plug in to run. Um, but if you're going to use your furnace, you need to make sure you have got propane. Now, one of the things that I really loved about my Renegade Verona in the 36 foot floor plan was these cabinets. Look at how roomy these are. So tons and tons of storage place in here. Another feature to mention uh, on this coach is, so this is the Cape Cod, which is a nice, like light gray color. Uh, my Verona had kind of a cherry wood. So uh, Renegade has done a really good job at getting maybe more of a contemporary color combination available for you. And these cabinets are not only beautiful to look at, a nice light gray color, they also have a little bit of a taupe in them. So if you wanted to match them with, you know, any of those browns or those grays, you could do both. Um, but the cabinet quality, so in other words, you know, all of these are big, soft closed drawers. Um, but you know, I, we have one of the new Tiffins here in stock. And as much as there are some feature benefits that are advantageous in that product line, 
the quality of the manufacturing does not hold a candle to Renegade. Renegade does such a good job in manufacturing quality cabinets. And then one of the things that they gave us in the 36 SB is extra drawer space. So as you know, when you're out camping, it's not like you've got a whole bunch of blazers and you know dress shirts that you need to bring with you. Sure, you've got a few coats, but most of what you're gonna have are gonna be t-shirts, jackets, you know, boots, uh, socks, you know, underwear, your, your bathing suits, all those things. So the more drawer space you have, the better. And what's really nice about these drawers is you can allocate certain drawers to each family member so that they can keep all their stuff in there. And this coach does have a bunk over cab. Now that's an 80 by 54 bunk over cab. So not only does it have a bunk over cab, it's got a lot of space uh, for either uh, your grandkids or even adults. You know, any tall adults would be best off actually on that bunk over cab. And it also has the fold out couch. So technically this coach could seat seven people um, very easily. And that's too many people to go camping with in one RV, but you could do it. And if you want to go camping and you're staying somewhere where, you know, maybe you've got family members in California, this is a place where you can get the whole family together to get, you know, to hang out and, and to, to celebrate life. Um, now here in our bedroom, we have an insignia television. I'd also like to make mention, I love the shades that the way they're this nice oatmeal color. And again, one of the things that, you know, we've got to make mention of is these are dual pane windows. You've got day and night shades. You've got a huge uh, dresser here. There are two 110 outlets on this side as well. Uh, and then, as I mentioned, there are these panels throughout the coach. So you don't have to have your app open to turn lights on and off, but you can. And then you also have your nice switches as well. Um, then this is one of my favorite features of this coach. So this is the center bath. Jody, I'm gonna have you pop through the other side just so I can show how this works. Um, one of my favorite features in my RV is the fact that I was able to have a whole second room to get dressed in the morning. So someone can be sleeping in, in this room. I have a shower and a toilet in here. As you can see, a really nice uh, porcelain macerator toilet, two different flush levels, a beautiful fiberglass surround, really updated from where they used to come in, kind of like this mushy gray color, a nice skylight, a fantastic fan, um, and plenty of room. And I could come in here and close this door and also this door behind Jody, and I could have a whole separate bedroom in which to get dressed in in the morning and have total privacy while somebody else might be up making breakfast or you know preparing coffee. Um, so I just love that feature. Um, another great aspect of this coach is gonna be storage. So look at how nice this storage is in here. Um, as you can see, these are again, all solid maple cabinets. Um, if you are out there looking at that new Tiffin product, a lot of people, because it has a hydronic system in it, think that that is gonna be the M2106 chassis. That is the same chassis that this Valencia is built on. This is the S2 RV chassis. It's a cutaway that's been built specifically for an RV. It has a 6.7 liter ISB engine in it. This is gonna have 800 foot pounds of torque. And for any of you that are out there looking at those 468 foot pounds of torque in your Ford chassis, for instance, this is gonna have much better towing capacity, much better capability of going up and over the hills. And then of course, with our two slides and our mid bath floor plan, we have absolutely the most living space. And we also have a 12,000 pound towing capacity. So this is a really fantastic coach for anybody who's looking to get into that entry level segment that wants a super solid, high quality build. This is much better than anything else on the market. And as I can tell you, you know, they, they put a, 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 a cooktop in the Tiffin that makes you think, oh, you know, I'm, I'm comparing this to a Renegade Verona. No, you are not. Uh, the Tiffin would be more com comparable to this unit. The only difference is going to be that hydronic system. And again, in most of your camping elements, especially if you're going to be in nice warm places, this coach with 30 amp, 50 amp, or running off its eight kilowatt generator is going to be more than fine with heat and air conditioning. So just make sure that you know what you're shopping for because the build quality of this blows the doors off of anything else in the segment. Um, again, back to drawer space. As I said, this is always an important consideration for me. Uh, in my Superstar, I typically go camping with just my boyfriend. Uh, we just spent three weeks in San Diego with my son as well. And just having separation of space is really nice for everybody involved. 
And, you know, you find stuff, you can just throw it in the drawer that belongs to them. That way they know where it is later. And we saved a ton of space in being able to take just a few pairs of jeans, socks, and underwear because we could do washer or do uh, laundry every day. Now I'll tell you, the Splendid washer and dryer, um, I have a 60 gallon gray water tank on my Superstar and I was able to use about 80% of the gray water uh, with four loads. So in this coach, you can easily do five loads of laundry with just about 60, or about 80% of your gray water tank. So you could really um, take this coach from wherever you're going in the morning if you're doing an eight hour drive and get all the laundry done before you get to the campsite. And what's so nice about this is this, lo this laundry location is accessible with the coach with all the slides closed. So not only could you do your laundry, you could also fold it, put it in the back on the bed and do it while you're in motion. So you could literally get everything, towels, linens, all of your jeans, underwear, everything folded, set aside behind you on the king bed while you're going down the road. Just put everything away when you get to the campsite and crack a beer and start that barbecue up. It's a great, great feature of this coach. Uh, so we've got an improved Samsung unit in this coach this year. It's an 18 cubic foot still, uh, just a little bit nicer refrigerator system for 2024. And as you can see, tons and tons of space. Very simple. If you are a guy or a gal looking for a simple coach this is the way to go so this is where you're going to find uh, renegade is so good at making rvs that are highly functional and also very simplistic so not a lot of things to go wrong really nice ice maker up top as you can see you've got all of your power supplies or all of your uh, displays up here on top as well tons of vegetable and cooler space big drawer pockets and then above that, you have um, this outlet or this access panel here for your television. Now, everything is pre-wired. And in 2024, we are going to come standard with the Wi-Fi system, but you will no longer have a Blu-ray player. Uh, Newmar did away with those in 2022. It took Renegade an extra year or two to catch on. But really, if you want to do streaming uh, on your coach, please know that, New that Newmar that uh, TransWest is absolutely a uh, powerhouse when it comes to not only providing installation services, but we have uh, Starlink roof mounted on our coaches, which is not something you can order from the factory, but we've gone out and tested it different ways, different applications. We use Cradle Point. So if you are a streaming family, which is most of the people these days, all of these TVs are LED, they're all smart televisions, and you can stream Netflix, Hulu, whatever it is that you watch. And if you're trying to figure out what type of data supply you should get, um, I can really walk you through all of the different options. And there are different benefits depending on where you're camping. And then there's also ways to make your camping experience foolproof if that's an important feature to you. So we can help with all of that stuff. Now, another feature I loved on my 36 VSB is this cabinet here. As you can see, first of all, these shelves are adjustable, which is so nice because if you've got a crock pot or rice cooker or coffee pot that fits up here, then you need different room for your toaster on the second level, you can adjust all of these shelves. And then another nice feature is that they've opened up the cabinet under the sink by putting all of their power. Um, so this is gonna be just your, I should open these so you can see them, all of your, um, breakers underneath here and then I'm not going to open this because that little this one's hard to get to stay back on but your fuses are here so really cool location for that and again tons of big uh, storage space because I mean honestly most of us have a coffee pot most of us will have a toaster oven things like that when we're camping and then up here you have all of the space and as you can see these are nicely hinged doors the build quality again I just I cannot tell you I've had some people cross shopping us by photo and I'll tell you, you walk into this coach versus some of the other manufacturers and this, just in the, the tactile feel of the leather, um, the non plasticky, you know, synthesized yucky, you know, gross stuff. And then the cabinet quality. I mean, we're looking at, for me, I, it's like, it's like walking into like a fifth wheel on an RV chassis versus walking into a real RV. This might be a very affordable price point, but it's a very high quality build. So for you out there looking for value, this is where you're gonna find it. Now, it does not have an induction cooktop. It's got a three, per, three burner uh, propane uh, gas top. Only downside to these things, of course, is that you need to make sure you've got that 20 gallons stocked up before you get to your campsite. Um, you maybe have a little differentiation 
of uh, performance at higher altitudes than you do at the lower altitudes. But at the end of the day, this is a really nice uh, cooktop. This is the Dometic. And I want to just put these back in place so I can show you all of the counter space on this coach. And the reason I had those set down is they do lean up against the back to protect, to, to protect the backsplash, but I wanted to show you this beautiful glass tile inlay. I love these glass subway tiles. Everything in this coach just pops. Um, another nice aspect of this Dometic is not only is it a three burner, but also it has a towel rack, which is really important. And then look at all of this room for frying pans and you know dishes, anything that you wanna put underneath here, you've got tons of space. And again, with uh, the ability to move that cabinet um, over here on the 36 VSB, you've got so much space here underneath to put any of your taller items. Now I'll tell you one thing that Renegade does uh, so much better, uh, and then it does come, just so you know, it does come with extra paint. So as you can see, this is an extra bottle of paint because there's only one color on this coach. We do uh, have six color combinations available in 2024, but we have uh, two that are solid colors, all white or all gray. And of course, this is the all gray uh, in the Polaris. But again, so one of the things that Renegade does so well in their coaches is this full-size trash can. I cannot do this in my Superstar. I literally had to go to the store, buy a trash can and cut the top of it off. Um, and I still have my Renegade one. So whoever bought my Renegade, I'm sorry, I kept the trash can, but I liked it because it was silver. Um, and I use a blue one uh, for recycle, the silver ones for inside, and then we have a black one that we use outside. But you can stack them inside. There's plenty of room here under the sink. There's also a lot of room here for any of your cleaning supplies. And then you also still get all of these really high-end features. You know, the stainless steel deep basin undermount sink with a spray and pour feature on your faucet. You know, nice, nice sink setup. And again, I just adore all of these windows that open. Uh, one of the nice things about this Valencia is when you open these windows, they pop. So if it is raining, you don't have to worry about having uh, the rain come into the coach. You can still have those windows open, have that great circulation coming through. Again, this coach is gonna be a 50 amp. It does have two 15,000 BTU air conditioners. This is the Coleman Mach 3, as you can see up here. And they do have heat pumps as well. Uh, great place here for all of your dishes. No kidding. I love this access point over here. This is where we kept our coffee cups because of course coffee is paramount in the morning. Um, but plenty of room to stack all of your bowls, all of your plates, all of your coffee cups. Just really, really great upfitting for uh, anyone who's out there in the marketplace. And then this Insignia TV, what's nice about this is not only does the sound bar just rock, but you can pull this off the wall. So if you all wanted to watch a movie here, and then this has got the optional 24 inch insignia above in the bunk area. The kids could literally close the screen up, put on some headphones, watch Shrek for the 85th time, and you could watch a new movie that they have no interest in. Um, or wait, what's the other one? Uh, Frozen, they could watch Frozen again. Um, another nice feature on this coach, which I did not have on mine, is an extendable top. I guess this is to keep the neighbors out. No, I'm just kidding. It's probably for, you know, extra extra prep space when you're making your, your breakfast and your dinner. Um, up here, you can keep a ton of board games. So as you can imagine, Parcheesi, Monopoly, all those things. And we do have one of the cushions. You're gonna have three cushions uh, to convert your bunk into a bed area. It's only about 60 inches wide. So if you wanted to have, for instance, two adults in the back, two adults on the queen bed, two kids up top, and then one kid over here. So that could be three, four. God, that is, that's like, you could have literally, you could have so many people, seven people in this coach pretty easily. Um, I wouldn't recommend that. It's a lot of people in an RV, but whatever, you know, if it floats your boat. Like I said, if you guys have a whole bunch of people getting together, great situation, only one shower, only one toilet, Make sure you're going somewhere that's got some nice amenities. That way you can kick the kids out and keep the glue to yourself. Uh, underneath here though, I wanted to show, we have a lot of storage space here. So I keep my plates and my dishes underneath the booth because that's actually when I'm getting re ready for dinner, I'm not gonna be having to pull things out from the cabinets overhead. But as you saw there, there was a ton of overhead space there as well. Uh, this is how deep that goes. That gives you kind of an idea um, and then one of the features that they've always had on the Verona LE that we've never had 
on even the Verona or the Valencia is this cup holder unit. But look at how cool they did this. So first again, this is solid maple. This is so well manufactured. You've got a USB port, a Type-C, two 110 outlets, and then you've got these little pockets to keep your phone in underneath and your drink on top. And I guess you could put some change in there. I mean, I don't even know. Like this is such a cool coach. And I left this window open. I showed the one in the front closed, but this slide has so much visibility. There's so much window space here. Um, it's just really, really nice. And then another feature worth mentioning is this bunk over cab, as you can see, the bunk over cab, no, that way, on top is 84 by 50 inches. So that is so big. Um, if you have anybody who is visiting you, um, this is a very nice, very comfortable space. And then I'm just gonna pull this ladder down. A lot of times I'll start on these top bunks um, for my videos. I didn't today, I don't know why, I just didn't feel like it, I guess. But I wanted to show you what it looks like when you're trying to have access to get into this front cab because not only do you have a great place for people to sleep, but when you wanna be able to walk in here, as you can see, this is a very simple entry point into your cab. And if you wanted to take these mattresses out, this would be a great place to put some bins so that you had all of your extra supplies if you weren't gonna have company. Um, another thing that we grabbed from underneath is this ottoman. As you can see, a great place to keep your blankets, also to keep those pesky TV remotes that end up in all sorts of random places. And then if you put this down at the end of the table, you could fit definitely two adults, but probably two or three kids there. And then somebody else here at the end and then another two or three people here. So could you fit all seven? It might be tight, but you could, you could really try. Another thing is they have these great TV tables if you reach out to me, uh, you can always text or email me. I'll send you a link to some that are perfect for our being. Um, so you can feed more folks in your RV. And I'm just gonna toss that one up top. So again, the furniture quality um, on, this, on this product. So like this is a nice, this feels like leather. It, it's, it's well tufted. It's really soft. It's, this is such a nicer couch than some of the other manufacturers that I've seen. Um, and so I really encourage you when you're looking at this, oh, let me see, I forget how to do these ones, um, to consider the fact that not all things that are on video translate to the actual experience. It really might behoove you to take a look at this product for yourself uh, in person. Now you got three seat belts here, two over here. That's five, two more. This coach could really have seven folks in it going down the road. And as you can see, this is a huge full size bed. Now, one of the things that's so nice about this trifold is it is super, super comfortable. This is a really comfortable big bed and you can fit those cushions. I'll just show you. back up top so that you don't lose your pillow into the crack. It's probably a good idea. Plus it gets rid of the cushions so they're out of the way. So the way that this is designed, they fit right underneath these nice Lambrequins. So I'm pretty sure nobody at Renegade has ever said the word Lambrequin, by the way. That's like a Numar term, but we're gonna go ahead and rock it today because I mean, that's what they are, right? Little window dressings. Uh, and they're cool, by the way. Uh, one of the things that Renegade does a really good job of is staying pretty neutral. So you could really decorate this coach however you want. Bring in any color combination. Um, as you can see, this is really easy to put away. Like I said, this coach, uh, this floor plan for us was just fantastic. One of the things that we could not get in 2020 was a bunk over cab. If my 36 VSB had had bunk over cab, I don't know if I would have bought my Superstar. We bought that because it had bunks. If we needed extra space, not for people. Um, our bunk over cab unit, uh, or our bunk unit, we use all of that, that extra space. Sometimes we have people with us, um, less often than not. Uh, but the reason that we got the bunk unit was because we actually use it for duffel bags and like, I don't know, guitars you know, our paddle boards. 
uh, anything that you don't want to melt because of course underneath in your cab you put all the stuff for s'mores you get like one block of chocolate <laughs> instead of like those little things that you put on each graham cracker so really nice to have um, the extra space to keep things that you don't want to get too hot or too cold uh, so this bunk over cab space is fantastic but if you do put people up here as you can see this is lit so you've got nice lighting they can turn all the interiors on or off from here so when it's bedtime you could just hit all off and when it's time to get up you could hit all on uh, you can extend that shade so that you don't have to have too much light coming in so if someone is sleeping up there this can be covered uh, but I'll tell you, one of the things that we really like about our Superstar is the same thing that you have here. These sky windows just give you a lot of extra light coming into this coach. And Jody, when you just peel around and just turn around looking back this way, I think one of the things to note about this coach is this has got a really beautiful, nice light and bright interior. And then the, 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 uh, the furniture is not too light. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to handle soil well. Um, another nice feature about this coach, though, which is always the same with any Renegade product is for those of you that are looking for something that has room going down the road, this coach is going to always win. It's a, it's a Renegade product, but has by far the best walking room available. So we are going to go ahead and retract the front slide. I'm going to do the outside or the back, the bedroom slide from the outside. Uh, but I want to show this to you because uh, you got a bum knee, you got a bad hip, you got a fat dog, whatever it might be, like this room here is really handy because it's easy to walk through. And then as I mentioned earlier, you can also do your laundry and get into this bathroom. I literally, my daughter, when we would go through like the Blue Beacon car washes to get the coach cleaned off, she would take a shower while the guys were outside, you know, cleaning the coach. So you can do all of this with the slides closed. So this is a really, really nice amount of room. Um, so I think we've covered a lot about this. Um, I have just, so I do a lot of notes and I kind of, I mean, I don't know, I kind of know these things inside and out anyway, but I do do a lot of notes. There's the window sticker. And then this is like the change summary. So everything that's new for 2024, you know, updated styling on the cabinets, the kitchen base, um, you know, everything that they've done that's different, everything that they've done that's the same. Uh, like you can't get a queen, be queen bed option any longer. No more Blu-ray players. Um, so wine guard is now standard. The brake controller is now standard. Um, Diamond Shield is now standard. The LP Quick, Quick Connect uh, is also now standard. That's a nice feature that you sometimes we'll get a lot of them where it's forgotten. And then having a power uh, hose reel for your water supply is also standard now on this coach. So lots of cool features. Um, overall, like definitely one of the best values for dollar in this marketplace. Now another new feature we want to talk about here is take a look at the updated dash that you have on this M2106 chassis. So in my opinion, I like having the buttons all spread out. This isn't bad though. I mean, you can see, you know, everything is, is pretty close to where it would have it. Before it was maybe a little more, like you didn't have like a footwell light up and down. You know, you had separate buttons for everything for on and off, but it's, it's good. Um, the big improvement though, I would say overall is the fact that you've got steering wheel controls. So if you're going down the road and you want to answer your phone, it's nice to be able to just push a button. If you want to turn your volume up and down, it's nice to be able to just push a button. So I do really like the updated steering wheel controls. Um, in terms of the dash, you know, when I had heard that they were going to have this new digital dash, I was like, oh, wow, this is going to be amazing. Well, it's actually still, for the most part, lots of dials. Now, the reason I haven't turned this over yet is because that little engine light's still on. I want to wait for that to turn off before I actually start the engine. Um, it's really not that cold out, so it shouldn't take that long. There it goes. Um, and then that beeping is because I do have the leveling jacks deployed. And of, co of course, this coach is like freaking out right now, thinking I'm gonna drive away with my jacks down. Um, but as you can see here, there are some nice little features up top here that you can get through. So your diagnostics are here. It's not the biggest all glass dash I've ever seen, 
but it's nice. Um, a huge improvement, in my opinion, is that your Allison is still that 3000, but it's now stock controlled. So your trail, your, your, uh, engine brake is also right here. And then you can just change, you can change all your gearing here as well as shifting points. And then you've got your power, uh, windshield wipers, you know, and then your turn signals and all that stuff. So really overall, very similar to last year's model. But that big improvement, like I said, in my opinion, is really going to be that you've got your steering wheel controls here. Uh, your Garmin nav system is still the same. You can hand this to someone while they do data input for you and then put it back on after they've got it done. Uh, your equalizer leveling system is, again, everything that you do here is going to be available to you on your app. So today when I leveled the coach, I did that with my leveling system on my phone. So I could all retract. I could level. Now keep in mind, so... Every time you talk to somebody, they're going to have an opinion about when you should level your coach, whether you should put your slides out with the jacks down, with the jacks up. Every manufacturer is different. Renegade happens to like it for you to level your coach first and then extend or pull your slides in, whereas Numar is the opposite. They want you to put your slides out with your jacks retracted and then to deploy them afterwards. Just read your book. Don't listen to anyone. Don't go online. Don't talk to a forum. Open up your manual highlight it, dog ear it, make sure you look at it until you are absolutely 100% sure on how it functions so you don't do it the wrong way. Because honestly, I watch a lot of videos. Um, I feel like I'm not great. I'm always trying to get better. Um, and a lot of people out there make great videos. So if mine are too long for you, then just go somewhere else. Uh, there's plenty of shorter videos with less information on them. And if I'm not your gal, it's okay. And if I am, you know, take a picture of that right now. Uh, but no, seriously, um, read your books. If you, if you want to know how to do something right, anything that's going to be crucial to the function of your vehicle, just get your books out. It takes like two minutes and it can save you thousands of dollars for screwing things up. So, you know, that's just number one recommendation. Uh, so you've got telescopic adjustable steering wheel, got your lights up here. You got power mirrors. They are heated. You've got power windows, power door locks. Um, really, really like if you're looking for a great setup, but I mean, look at the quality of these seats. And again, this is that material difference that really, I, it was astounding to me to find that there was a coach that had a price point as high as it was with the type of material they were using to finish it. I'm not going to say any names, but I was floored at on top of it. These are so cool. Cause you can just get these like armrests to be exactly where you want them. These are such puffy, cool, awesome seats. And of course they do both rotate into the cabin. Um, so let's see, put your CB up here or this is carpet. It's a really deep pocket. So is this one, um, got your air horn or <laughs> your little beeper, which is nice to have too, right? Because you don't always want to like yell at people. Um, let's see. So here in the door, we have a really nice screen that you can close. And then when I open it, my steps deploy automatically. I can also turn those off. And then I've got my battery disconnect here. Also my boost for house and chassis, if I'm using my house batteries to start my engine is right here. So uh, Grant Russell is a old time veteran here of uh, Renegade in Colorado at TransWest. And he said, just use a piece of tape if you don't have a friend that can hold that button. I kind of like it better on the dash, but you know, if I can make my own RV, I'd be a millionaire. No, I would never make an RV. These guys spend so much time making sure these things are th working the right way. It's so much research and development goes into them, including a place to keep your slippers and your shoes. I love this feature of this coach. You can keep a pair of slides in here. So as you're coming in and out, you're not tracking in dirt. I also like the fact that I can close this and lock it from the inside. And then my step automatically retracts and I can leave my door open for that nice fresh air. Um, okay, so let's talk about entryways. One of the things that Renegade does so incredibly well is they make it really easy to get into your coach. So you've got these nice grab handles and then I love this kick plate right here. So these steps are done better than anybody else. Renegade takes the, takes the cake. They, they're, they're metal, they're black, they're not going to show soil and they're grippy. So when you're getting in and out of your coach, you can. Um, and then I wanted to also talk about 8,053 8, pounds is your carry capacity in this coach. So that's right here on the door. A lot of people don't know what their carry capacity is. So that's right there. And then the other thing is this coach is 36 feet, 10 inches long. 
Um, a lot of people in the past, I think, thought that they had uh, 36 or a 30, like a 38.2. This coach is 36.10, so it's almost 37 feet. The other thing I wanted to mention, though, is that this coach has got a 263 inch wheelbase. The next smallest wheelbase up is going to be 279 inches. So as you can imagine, when you are down to 263, the turning radius for a Super C is always compromised by the long wheelbase, which gives it a more comfortable ride going down the road. But even at 263, we don't have too much overhang over the back wheels and we have a nice small turning radius. As you can see here, this has got the Amish racing wheels, also known as American Racing uh, Series, American Racing Wheels, Amish Racing Wheels, whatever you want to call them. Um, you could get spiky covers from me if you want those. And then also you'll see we've got this three-piece breakaway bumper, just helping you with lower insurance premiums, big solid tow hooks right here. I will show you the Caliber 9 grill when we come around to the other side. Um, but one of the things I wanted to mention here is spring leaf suspension, again, S2 RV custom chassis, and this has got the Cummins engine in it. You can tell because there's your red 6.7 liter ISB Cummins. Again, this is gonna be a 360 horsepower engine. It's gonna give you 800 foot-pounds of torque. So this is a really big improvement over that 468 foot-pounds of torque that you'll find in some of those uh, like C minus or B plus chassis or whatever you want to call them uh, that aren't true super C's like this coach. Um, nice outdoor docking lights. Again, another insignia TV. And I wanted to really show off, take a look at the size of this bay. Have you ever had something where you're like, God damn, that's long. How am I going to fit this in here? Dude, this thing, the passenger comes all the way through. These doors are huge. This is a great amount of space. And then also, as you can see, oh, I didn't get the awning all the way out. I'm gonna do that right now. So when Jody was walking in, I was thinking, oh, I should have put the awning out and I didn't do it. But I'll go ahead and, and finish uh, extending it right now with my phone. How cool is this? What would happen if you were parked like really close to a tree? and you didn't want to get your awning fully deployed, but you wanted to max out and get as much awning as you could out of it, you could use your phone and stand out there and make sure you didn't run into something. But fully deployed, this is a great living room area. And with these LED lights built in, it's giving you a nice amount of illumination. So when you are sitting outside around, you know, your, I put my uh, Outlander fire pit out here on top of my plastic RV rug, and I sit underneath in a living room, and we don't usually watch TV, but we'll usually have something on the sound bar while we're all hanging out and, and chatting. But this is a great living room space. Um, so lots and lots of room here. Um, and I don't know if you can hear, but I've got that generator running, so it's really not that loud. Um, but one of the nice features about this is that you can actually start it and stop it right here on your app. So I can just go over here and push the stop button and there we go, I've turned that generator off, so it's not gonna be so loud while we're doing the rest of our walk. So another great storage bay back here. I know I did promise that I was gonna put this rear slide away from outside of the coach, which I'll do right now. Um, doo, doo, doo. Confirm, slides, rear slide, retract. These Gerard awnings are so nice. You've got slide covers on top of everything here. Uh, the, again, this is a 20 gallon propane tank. I love the fact that the Quick Connect is out here on the party side of the coach. It's a great location for it. Easy to access, easy to fill, easy to, you know, get, like I said, your Outlander fire pit. You could tie it into that right there. You could also tie your barbecue bit or barbecue grill here, and you can bring it off towards the rear of the coach so you're not right next to your windows, which is really, really nice. Um, so, Again, this is a Polaris. Um, they also have Tundra, which is an all white coach, and then four other color combinations. Standard again, we've got this nice rear mud flap. Ooh, is that standard? Hold on, I might be lying to you. Sometimes I lie to people on accident. Nope, the full length mud flap is an additional option, so make sure you get that, that's pretty cool. Um, the things that are extra on this coach, so the American Racing Wheels, Caliber 9 Grill, the Ottoman, the washer dryer. Uh, this coach does have the lithium ion battery pack. It's got three lithium ion batteries. It also has three solar panels that are 175 watts each. The TV and the caliber bunk is extra. And then this has the InMotion RTT20B satellite dish receiver, which is good for dish. Um, 
Power cord in the rear bay gives you so much more room. It's only a 30 foot cord, but it's in the back of the coach. Mine's 50, but my coach is 20 feet longer. And it's in the front, so really great functionality here. Make sure that you cover uh, this hole and put this back in when you're going down the road. Not only are you keeping moisture from coming into the coach, but if you don't keep this covered, these tend to leak when you're going over, uh, over bumps. And you might find that you've lost half of your power cord by the time you get to Lyman. Not that I'm speaking from experience or anything. <laughs> Again, eight kilowatt quiet diesel generator. This one has eight hours on it. I did start and stop that from my phone. Um, pretty nice here, diesel fuel only. So nice side fill here, 100 gallon tank. Um, this is just some vents on the outside. Again, really cool 275-80 R22 American X racing wheels. Badass Michelins, nice coach. Good looking tires, good looking wheel set. Power hose on the outside for your water, which I think is a really nice feature on a coach at this level. Uh, again, this is like, this is five star living. That's your water connection. This is a gravity hose tank holder. This is a good backup hose. I would get one that has a clear elbow and kind of that's more adjustable like those Gorilla, those gorilla hoses. And even if you're only using uh, 10 feet of it, most of the time you can keep that extra 10 feet over here underneath your gray and black water tanks. Um, we definitely have better uh, tank monitoring than we've had in the past. Uh, and then as you can see, your black water hose has got its own connection right here, uh, which is great. It's outside of your water bay. And then your freshwater tank is 150 gallons once again, but it's under your bed. So you don't have to really about, worry about that getting uh, frozen. Uh, but this coach does not have a heated water bay. So if you want something that's a little more robust, that is still a great entry level with a 250 Aqua Hot D, get into that Verona product. That Verona product is really fantastic for people who want to have a little more flexibility into going to those subarctic or colder temperatures. Um, another great bay, this is where I would put my Outlander fire pit, I think. And then as mentioned, just over here to the left, you've got your Dragonfly Lithionics, or your, I'm sorry, Dragonfly Lithionics, two different companies. You've got your Dragonfly uh, batteries and then also your two chassis batteries as well. Again, 10 gallons of depth on this coach. You do have a block heater. If you're gonna be somewhere where it's really cold, plug your block heater in before you, it freezes. If you know it's gonna be like negative nine and you've gotta get out of Dodge, just make sure you put an additive in that 100 gallon tank before it gets too cold, run your block heater. This thing is gonna be great. Again, you might wanna winterize if you're gonna be you know, going up to Copper or Keystone, but you can keep the coach warm um, with just electricity and running your generator off of this, off of this, um, off of this engine. So you can, you know, you've got a hundred gallon fuel capacity. You can run your generator and keep your coach warm, run your furnace. Uh, you would just be using gen only and you wouldn't want to have water on board, but you could have gallons of water in your refrigerator. You just wouldn't be using the toilet or taking a shower in the coach. Um, so this is a coach that you could still get out and go camping in. Just make sure you know what the limitations are and why you would move from a hydronic unit that's all electric to something like a propane unit. Because um, where you're camping, you might not need to spend that extra money. This might be more than enough. Now, uh, on the note of fantastic coaches, right here you can see there's that integrated brake controller. And then this is the adjustment for your steering column is right here. It's not one that you step on. And again, one of the nicest aspects of this coach is that this coach is not one where they're cutting off the cab or, you know, taking off a portion of the RV itself. This is built to be an RV um, by, uh, by Freightliner. And it's really, really cool. Um, over here, as you can see, you've got access to a lot of your filters. Um, everything is very, very easy for those of you that want to service your own coach. And again, this is going to be an available unit. This is a 2024 Renegade Valencia 36 SB. Its stock number is 5N230302. Um, I don't think I mentioned much about side cameras, but we can take a look at the one right here. So your Voyager system right here has side cameras and a rear view backup camera. I would encourage you to call me. Let me get a rear view uh, only so a dedicated camera for your rear view set up on this RV for you. It's something we do for a lot of people. We can also do some pretty cool integrated lighting packages uh, to the front of the coach if you want to do that. So we'll put light bars in. 
Um, but as you can see, this is that caliber nine uh, racing grill that I wanted to make mention of earlier. You've got, you know, really nice upgraded lights, good visibility at night, great looking coach on the outside, tons of room on the inside. And uh, yeah, I'd like to be your girl. Let me know how I can help you. My number is 303-562-8659. My name is Katie O'Neill. I'm coming to you live from sunny, warm Frederick, Colorado. Here in January, no, it's not January, it's February. So, oh yeah, that's why I got the rainbow boots, right? Happy Valentine's Day this month. Uh, but yeah, I'm coming to you live from Colorado. Let me know how I can help get you out on the road and camping. And thank you for tuning in.